Okay, so today in this video I'll show you how to configure MPV media player. If you are new to Linux, you must have heard about this media player. Someone must have recommended you this and you must be wondering how to use it. I mean to play a file is easy, just uh, it works like any other player but it has very uh, less setting as you can see it just does not nothing shows up when you right click you know, on it or it has no uh, setting menu so i will tell you how to configure it and also tell you some basic settings for it to configure so what you need to do is you need to go to file manager uh, you need to go to your root directory this is gnome desktop environment and this file manager is nautilus uh, so if you are using something else like dolphin then also you can access root directory uh, maybe left side you can see or some other way I, I don't use that so i don't know about but if you are in nautilus then you can just uh, forward slash here use forward slash here and just press enter and it will show you root directory and now you can go to user usr this directory then we'll go to share then we'll search for doc so i'm gonna press d here and as you can see after pressing d it shows this folder doc doc and double click this folder and then we need to search for m mpv so we'll press m here and it has shows mlt now here it is mpv so we'll copy this file this is uh, you can say the manual it's a manual to configure mpv so we'll make our config by looking at the details it shows us so we'll copy this and we'll go to home directory in home directory we'll go to dot config if you are if it's hidden for you then you can use uh, let me see how you can okay from here you can so show it in files and it will start to show if it does not show in your system so we'll go to dot uh, this folder dot config folder then we'll go to mpv if it's uh, not there you need to create a folder name mpv if it's not here like you go dot config and mpv mpv is not already created for you then you need to create by this name mpv and you need to paste that file here as I, you can see i have already done that before going further also let me show you if you are using uh, mpv if you have installed mpv using flat pack because uh, i have installed natively but if you have installed it uh, via flat pack then you will need to go to this folder instead of dot config folder you need to go to dot var folder then apps then you need to search the mpv folder and then you need to create this uh, directory which i have done here if it's already not there the directory dot mpv not dot mpv just mpv so uh, native location if you have installed it natively like from apt or from dnf or from uh, maybe some either method so this is the home dot config folder and then mpv and here we'll paste that file and let's look at the file now i'm going to open it with text editor so before showing you how i configured it i'm going to just show you what does it say so as you can see let me increase font for you okay now let's, let's minimize this Okay, so this is an example MPV configuration file. It means nothing is uh, configured now. It will explain you, and by your preference, you can uh, configure yourself. I'll tell you how to do that. So we'll see if there's written this is this command example op option. Usually, do not set the default values. Call okay, so this is just some random thing. As you can see, it, it also tells you to. Uh, where to store or config this is the dot config mpv and then this like i show you for user uh, per user setting i would say 
for system wide setting you can uh, do that here you can make a config file or copy config file paste here etc mpb but this is enough this is what i recommend okay, let's see what is what does it say okay so if you want your mpv to start in full screen mode uh, so you need to on this unit this uh, enabled so fs is equal to yes but it's not it's it's commented out so if you want to enable it just uh, delete the hash like i'm doing i'm gonna press backspace here and if we save this file here then it's activated fs is equal to yes will be activated if we remove hash same like this uh, if you want force starting with centered window you want to activate this command or this setting you want to activate so we'll go to here then we'll plug press and backspace press a backspace here and if we save it uh, then it will be activated so like so that's how you can read settings like what do you want to activate what do you do what do you not want to activate you can read all this you can read all this and whatever you will remove hash from any of this and save it it will be activated so you can experiment yourself try yourself read it all and configure as per your need so let me show you how i have configured it i'm going to explain you some of this what it does so let's uh, start from here so I have done this as a WDEC is equal to auto it means it's it will use hardware acceleration and I have set it to auto so it uses my GPU to process like when we seek uh, like we will uh, we'll like we'll playing a video and we have when we just forward and backward so it uses my GPU for that process so it just uh, does that quicker cache is equal to yes so it loads the video in my uh, ram so we can seek faster like we can do forward and uh, backward uh, pretty much fast it won't lag like it don't need to load video uh, like part by part it loads all the video i don't know how exactly it works but that's uh, you can understand what i'm trying to say somewhat that's how it works but not exactly okay so save position on quit it means uh, whenever you close a video midway like you are uh, uh, 30 minutes in the video and you need to close that video so when again you will open that video it, is, it will start from that exact location uh, sort of like resume so this is what the use position on quit volume max 100 volume max 100 it does uh, it won't ex uh, like increase video more than 100 volume more than 100 the volume will be max 100 because by default in mpv you can increase it to 100 percent i guess or 150 percent but i don't like that because it, the volume distorts at that level so i want my volume to max 100 so that's why this is for that purpose volume is equal to 100 what it does is uh, by default when i open a video the max volume is always 100 so I can decrease it per video as I want but by default the volume is always 100 because I mostly control my volume from here so I want MPV to use just max because I don't want to control volume from two places like here and then the uh, video player so uh, said auto is by the, uh, automatically I I'm guessing I actually don't remember but I think it's related to subtitle and it's automatically enable subtitles and and the english uh, re references like if your video has a lot of subtitles in different different languages so this is eng en is my preference to the subtitle for english so i want english subtitle to be enabled and on and this is for language i want if if there are two three languages in a video i do i want it to uh, english language to just be default profile is equal to high quality i think it is related to the video quality it uses uh, gpu power so if you are using desktop then you can enable it because for laptop i won't say to enable it because it will increase your power consumption but your choice 
and this one is no input IPC server uh, it is for like when you open uh, two MPVs so uh, it will uh, play them separately like it won't uh, stop your current running video like you are playing a video in MPV and you double click to another video file so that video file will open in separate window not like it will close your the previous one overwrite it so you will get two instances of mpv one playing previous file and second playing uh, new file i have disabled this interpolation because it smooths the uh, frames i would say if you are watching a 30 f 30 fps video on a 60 fps display or 165 uh, fps display then it i think it, what it says that it smooths this out uh, it smooths that out but uh, i haven't find much difference and it increased power consumption so i have just disabled it i've tried it but i disabled it i didn't like the result much and this is the setting i don't remember it so this is how i've set it if you want to use my setting i will uh, these lines i will I will give you in the description if you want to copy this but by this method you can configure for yourself location is this home location and then config then mpv if it's not there create a file and this is for input.config i have made this file let me show you what it does so when in linux you you are using mpv and you it controls volume with uh, just one uh, one setting like mouse wheel but up down if you want to use up and down key to also control volume because by default it seeks when you up and down the it it does not uh, decrease or increase volume it, it it moves video forward and backward so this is for that this setting is for that if you want to control volume with up down keys in mpv so you can copy this value and make a file name input dot com and also keep it here 